What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of these ugly nail pops from your wall. Let's get straight into it guys, let's do this. Alright guys, so we're working on a house here where we're going to be completely redoing everything including painting the walls. Now these walls here have got a lot of wear and tear, a lot of damage all throughout. The most obvious are these nail pops right here. So you can see there's a row of them going down here along the other side near the power point, on the other side once again, somewhere along here as well. So you can see it's a really obvious, ugly looking problem right there as well. Um, and the reason for that is sometimes the adhesive gives way behind, if they even use the adhesive. Other times it's just excessive amounts of force, pushing furniture up against the walls. It shakes, causes the nails to come loose, and these ones here are all actually nailed in. So. The old school way is to nail everything in and they're not as secure as a screw is. So you can see here we've got little nail pops all throughout and if I run my back of my finger now, you can actually expose the nail right there. So this is a really ugly, easy fix. So to fix this, the first thing we're going to do is re-secure everything back to the studs using screws. We're going to screw it all the way up, get everything to suck back into its original position. Countersink that just a little bit so that we can patch it later on. Now you might find they might start to pop out. As we start screwing everything back in, that's okay because what we're going to do after we screw all of this in is we're going to start scraping all this back. And if we can remove those nails, we'll remove them. If not, we'll tap them back into place. So you can see there, that one there just pushed out just a little bit and now we can flake that one there completely off. Obviously it is better to put adhesive if you can, but we're not going to be repairing or removing this whole wall. That'll be a lot of work. Sink that in just a little bit more and you can see there most of them are starting to pop back out now and the reason for that is we've sucked everything back into its original position we can run across this wall anywhere that we see a line or a row along the studs just drill back in and get it all to suck into its original position So now we've got our wall nice and secure back up against the studs um, and if you notice a lot of them are actually protruding a lot more now and the reason for that is we've now sucked everything back in nicely and secure back up against the wall. What I like to do is one of two things, you can either scrape them just like that, scrape off that top, if you can expose the head of the nail then you can just pry them out, a little bit hard to do with one hand but I'm going to try and show you guys. I personally prefer to remove them where I can, but if you've got literally hundreds of them to do, it'd be a pretty big task. Um, so in some areas you'll find that it's not easy to, as we've got there. So you can see there that's now nice and flush, however the nail head isn't exposed. So in this case here what I do is I take a nail punch and I tap these nails back into position so that they're nice and secure and then patch over the top. So run around, go through all of these. If they need to come out, or if you can, can take them out, take them out. If not, scrape them down nice and flush. We'll tap them down with the nail punch and make sure they're all nice and secure. Once again, we've got two exposed here. Use the edge of our 101 tool, because they honestly are 101. Pop them out. So now that we've removed all the loose nails, anything that's left in there, we can use a center punch or a nail punch tap them back into position so that they're nice and tight. That one has been removed, so is that one. Make sure they're under the surface, that one's been removed. That way they're not going to give you any future headache. 
So now the nails that needed to be removed have been removed. Anything else has been set back in position, back under the surface. We're just gonna quickly scrape everything. Make sure it's all nice and clean so that we can get ready to patch this area. If you find you've got a little hole with a bit of sections flaking off or wanting to get in your way and you won't be able to scrape it, just use the back of your scraper or your joint knife and push that into place. All right, so now everything's ready to be patched up. You can use your joint compound, fill them all in. And once that's all done, this is what it ends up looking like. It's now nice and dry. We're gonna take 120 grit sandpaper and we're gonna lightly sand this area, followed by a second coat. And once the wall's completely painted, this is the finished product. We've completely gotten rid of those ugly nail pops, nowhere to be seen, nicely secured back to the wall to avoid it from reoccurring. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. You've learned something new. As always guys, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's How To.